everybody, Dodgy Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to what may well be the final episode of The Italian Jobs. Finally, we found the road to Tani. We are in Casino. We've come back to the south of Italy a bit. Uh, I'm just trying to find the exit. And we're delivering a load of forklifts to Tani. I went for the shortest plus best price per distance job on this occasion. And yeah, we're finally going to finish off our Italian run, it would seem. So, let's do it. Let's get on the road. Just not too long a journey, as I knock down the giveaway sign. It's three and a half hours. Good. And then from Terni, we'll see what we've got from Terni. We'll try to head back into Europe. We'll do a mini-series between Italy and Europe. I just set my sat-nav up properly. Uh, between Italy and the UK, sorry, to return back. We'll just see where the wind takes us. And then, as soon as I arrive back in Birmingham, we're going to be buying our own truck, setting up our own business. We should have more than enough money for that by then. Who knows, depending on what jobs we get between here and a return to the UK, we could be up to 200,000 euros by then. That should buy a nice truck. Okay, excuse me as I clip the curb there. Just, you know, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on, come on, mate. Well, obviously there was no fine there because that I was not the guilty party for that one. Come on, don't you know the rules of the road? I'm already on the roundabout, so I have the right of way, you fool. <sighs> Dear me, where did that 1% of damage go? It was to a cabin. Okay. Not to my precious load of forklifts, at least. Okay, I thought I'd go with Casino when I saw that come up. Both because the forklifts get a bit more money for that. And it's not too long. And also, it gives us more of a scenic route. It's off the beaten track a bit, both Casino and Terni. It's tr true of both places. So, get a bit more of a scenic route around the Italian countryside. It's a shame the map didn't play out in a way, and the jobs didn't play out in a way that I could just kind of non-stop go through from one place to another, but you know, just got to go where the work is. And it's certainly much better weather down here in the kind of central and, and southern part of Italy after all that rain we had with that run to Parma just in the last episode. Okay, so quite a bit of twisting and turning to get out. It looks like we will be on a highway after all. Uh, I was expecting more of a central run. Maybe maybe we are going to skirt around Rome as we complete this journey. Yeah, quite a wide highway. Scrap all that stuff I said about a nice scenic countryside route. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you start to take these jobs without, uh, without assessing the route details very carefully. slightly over the speed limit here, but it's just that excitement at getting to Terni, finally. For so many times I've been thinking, Terni, I need to visit Terni. Like, ever since we left Sicily, I've been like, I need to find the routes taking me to the smaller places. Casino we got pretty easily. Uh, shame we didn't get a Casino Terni run when we originally came here. Ah, speeding. Alright, alright, alright police, we've got here, we've got here. I'll just go slightly over the speed limit from now on. Oh dear, well that's eaten into my savings for my truck, hasn't it? Well, at least we didn't get fined for that ridiculous crash at the roundabout. But I am going to lose a bit of money and XP when the job's complete because of that. Those cars can just wait to merge lanes. I'm certainly not. Oh, oh, good. That car. Just keeping an eye on the car in the wing mirror. He did back off and let me through. Come on, my, my truck driver here is excited. We're excited about finally completing the Italian jobs. We've been up and down this country, length and breadth of the Italian peninsula. 
just to explore the sites, get the achievements, do the jobs, earn that money, and we're finally approaching the final leg. Though, of course, the next video may well be within Italy again, like a little extra bonus episode, like we had in the Roads to Rome series. But we'll see, maybe if there's a long-haul job out of Terni into, like, southern France or Switzerland or Austria, we'll take it. Or maybe if there's a job to Sazura, I should take that, just because I didn't actually do a delivery there. Which one are you going to? I'm going to take the other one. Good choice. Just tanker, do not smash into me when I pull out ahead of you, please. And we're off. Okay, good. We're well ahead of the tanker, so not much danger of him blindsiding me as the lanes emerge. Okay, we're taking this exit up here then. 75 miles, but it's telling me two hours, which suggests the final part of this journey is going to be on a few twisty roads, perhaps. Watch that speed. That speed, you never know where the boys in blue are. safe on 52 miles an hour. I don't ever seem to get tickets doing that much, but 53, I'm not sure. That would be annoying to get a ticket when you're only 3 miles per hour over the speed limit. I know in some countries they have like the 10% rule. If the speed limit's 50, but up to 55, you're safe, you're probably not going to get a ticket. But then in other countries, the 10%, up to 10%, you get a lower level of fine, and 10 to 20% above the speed limit, you get a high level of fine. So because it all depends on where you find yourself. Okay, so this... Okay, we are skirting around Rome at the moment, it would seem. This one, this road runs north all the way to Florence. We will not be going that far today, though. Yes, it is. Go. Pretty straightforward run here. Nice wide exit ramp to merge onto the new road. And yeah, another toll booth. There's no escaping from these toll booths. Sure, where that other truck's going. Okay, we've passed through. Oh, that truck just just was like straight through. That's some secret trucker's barrier-free lane that I didn't know about. Has he got an automatic card or something? Cheeky. Next exit anyway, by the looks of things. We'll just slide over as we enter the Lombardy countryside. Let's watch that speed. And another toll booth. 
just pass through one of those. A bit up close and personal. Him carrying his square metal pipes there. Scaffold support, whatever that may be. Follow this guy. Oh, okay, so that is like an automatic barrier. Fair enough. I, so I've gone up and down the length of Italy without realizing there was an automatic barrier. Okay, well, you learn something new every day, as they say. I see I am respecting the, the rules of the roundabout there, waiting for my f Whoa, what are you doing there, car? What are you doing? It'd be as flat as a pancake if you collide with my truck. Okay, into the final ten miles then. And finally here we get onto some of those, those narrower country roads that I was expecting earlier on. Although it's still a dual carriageway, so it doesn't quite count. I haven't been able to get past this truck at all, and I don't think I can get past it before the exit. And he discovered, there we go, we've unlocked the Imperator achievement. Oh, this guy, he is going to let me through. A bit of aggressive driving paid off in this case. Oof. Oh no. I thought I didn't hit the barrier there. I thought I was just going to say, oof, just narrowly skirted the barrier and it's told me I got 3% trailer damage. I don't know, so we get smashed in the side, no trailer damage. And then, you know, we barely touch the barrier on the way around there, trailer damage. Okay, not the cleanest run to end the Italian jobs with, but... What can we do? Well, certainly looks like a nice place, Tony. I don't know if any of you have visited it in real life. If you have, let me know in the comments. looking turnings the sat nav wants me to take here. I'm looking at the way the road's laid out, wouldn't it be easier for me just to not take this turning it's suggesting here? Okay, those cars are going to let me through. Good choice by them. I, I seriously think turning this way is going to be a bad idea. But still, what the sat nav wants, the sat nav gets. No, 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 no. I am backing up. I'm not having any of that. No way. We are taking the long way round. No way I was making that turning. But this, this route's much more sensible anyway, and it's, I, doubt, I doubt it's much longer. The game's just trying to set me up to have accidents. There we go. Still entering the ACC compound, or whatever it is. turning was pretty difficult. Maybe this is why there aren't that many jobs to find to turn here. It's the difficulty <laughs> of reaching this drop-off point that puts people off. I feel like we need a, a, a long shot of that. It seems to be quite an interesting 
interesting setup. Open up these gates. Don't make me wait. Alright. I'm saying, based on the troubles I've had so far today, I'm going to take the easy option out of this. I'm going to get it all over and done with. Oh, 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 overshot that. I thought we were up against the wall, but we were not. Phew. Okay. I'm actually quite relieved to have finished that one. So, wow, here we go. Tanny. Dropping things off at a factory in Tanny. Nicely done. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been the Italian Jobs. If you've missed any of the episodes of the Italian Jobs, then... Um, check down in the description below there's a link to the full playlist uh, as I you know visit every place in Italy check out the whole Roads to Rome series for my initial journey here from the UK as well I'm Dodgy Gamer thank you very much for watching today's video hit that like button if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you again truckers on the road again soon for another delivery thanks for watching